Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at buildings. So last tutorial we had the humans and this time we're going to be adding the buildings that the humans can go into and leave. So if we hit play, we're going to see some of the humans walking around and so this one just came out of a building here and then there's also a chance for the humans to go inside the building as well and I'll show you how that works now. So we've got our building objects which are all of these and they're all squares if I zoom into just one of them here we can see that it's a 1.5 by 1.5 by 1.5 square and it's also got a child attached to it which is the doorway and the parent has a script of building set up and it also is a collider and it's got a tag of building so make sure you add that and it doesn't have the layer but the doorway does have the layer it's got a tag of doorway and that's also a trigger so we've also created that as a prefab here inside a buildings directory, which is just caught dragging it over. And then we've got our scripts for those as well, which are the building door and the building setup. We also have changed a little bit in the human target movement. So let's open that one up as well. And I'll go into the building door one to start with. So that's what that's the one for the doorway object here. And that one goes as follows. We've got a my building uh, is a transform so that's our building that is attached to us at the moment so our transform parent get component building setup doorway so that's part of the script here because they access our access the object that this one's attached to which is the doorway and that one is equal to us so we tell them this is me and then we say that our building is our parent so just to make sure that we store that because what we're going to do is stop ourselves from being a child of that object because within a setup function in the building setup script we also scale up the size of the building and we don't want to scale the size of the doorway as well so that's how that works so in then after that we go my building which is set here just like earlier dot get component building setup so that's the, the script here dot setup so that's part of the function that's inside there and the reason for that is because we we straight away we scale the buildings if you check to see down here you can see some of these buildings are bigger than others and I'll go through that in a second so into the building setup script we've got the doorway which is set by our building there we've also got a human transform which is the prefab of the humans we've got our maximum capacity here and then we've also got our current and both of those are integers as well and then our setups function which is called by here got if random range 0 to 2 so it's got a 50 50 chance of transforming local scale y to transform local scale while multi multiplied by a random range of 1 to 5 so it scales itself either multiplies by one or it goes up to four so it goes up to four times the size of the initial building so you can have different size buildings and it makes it look nicer then we've got our capacity which is here is equal to the local scale y multiplied by 10 so you've got you can have 10 people per floor of the building effectively inside the building at any one time and then we've got our current which is just basically at the start of the game the number of humans which is a random range between zero and the maximum capacity so they can have anything between zero and the full full building and then we've got an invoke repeating of human exit between uh, between two and five. So every two to five seconds, they check uh, if a human wants to exit, then it can. We've got function human exit. Uh, if our current is greater than or equal to the capacity, so that's if the current amount of humans we've got is more than our capacity, so we're overflowing, then we're definitely going to kick a human out. So as long as we've got a doorway, we're going to create a human, which will be a variable made human now, which is just a transform equal to instantiate our human prefab up here to the doorway position and the doorway rotation so we want to make them spawn in front of our building as opposed to inside the building and then we set our current to negative equal to one so we just put remove one point from the current and hopefully that'll drop down to the size of the capacity otherwise we'll kick another one out so we then tell that human to have a function which is leave building and that's inside the human target movement so i'll go through that in a second and then we've also got otherwise so if we aren't over over full then we have a random range of 0 to 20 and if that is equal to 1 so it's got a 1 in 20 chance if it has that chance and our current is greater than 0 so we've got more than no humans inside the building and we've got a doorway just to check that we've got the doorway we create a made human variable of transform and which means we instantiate the human prefab on the doorway position doorway rotation and we do exactly the same there we remove one from our current and we start the leave building function so if i go to the human one here we've got the leave building function which i'll go through now and then we've also added a little bit more to the triggers as well so function leave building we wait for a random range between 1 and 1 1.5 seconds just so it's the same with humans walking on the path so they start walking out the building and then they kind of eventually change direction so uh, if we have a random range between 0 and 2 so that's a 50 50 chance to turn right or to turn left and that's similarly to the way that they 
are when they are walking across the road they either turn right or left and then we've got in our on trigger enter we've got if we tr if we hit trigger with a doorway and we have a random chance between 0 and 50 to do so we have a chance to enter the building so we go transform.look at other dot transform dot get component building door dot my building so effectively we look at the building that is attached to the trigger that we've just walked into and then obviously we'll be walking forwards into that building and then if the other's transform is equal to building so if we then hit into the building then the other transform get component building setup dot current plus equals one so we add one to the current of the building that we've just hit into and then we destroy our child human and then we destroy ourselves. so i hope that's useful and obviously I'll, I'll let you guys watch it again just to see how we're doing so we've got um so that human just went into that building there this one's changing direction he's he, this guy's waiting for the other cars they're walking around each other this guy's waiting for cars um so they're all interacting with the buildings with the cars with each other and they're able to know whether to walk across the road or not and they add to a count that's not showing it at the moment but in a couple of tutorials time we'll be able to show um, when we mouse over we'll have the numbers of those sh showing down in the corner here and that's it so next tutorial we're going to be doing zombie AI so they're going to be interacting with the humans and with the buildings so I hope that's useful and I'll see you in that tutorial.